Greetings, everyone, and welcome to yet another interesting episode in our podcast about the human creativity. We are here now to discuss a new era, neoclassicism. After understanding the mysteries of the prehistoric era, enjoying the beauty of the Gothic age, and investigating the intellectual connection of the Renaissance, this episode will take us into the sophisticated worlds of the 18th and 19th centuries, a time that featured a deep interest in ancient history. The beauty of the classical Greece and Rome was an inspiration for the artistic and philosophical movement known as neoclassicism. Today, we'll explore the details of neoclassicism and learn how it developed. We'll examine the works of well-known artists, the movement's intellectual basis, and the social changes that influenced the period's art and society. An important art pattern that emerged in the 18th century was neoclassicism, which distinguished itself from the provenance of previous styles were Rococo and Baroque. The era was marked by a passionate return to the concepts and aesthetics of the ancient Greek and Roman art, inspired by a desire to represent logic, peace, and morality. Neoclassical painters, who disapproved of the lavish and imaginative aspects of Rococo, looked to the archaeological finds at Pompeii and Herculaneum for inspiration. This resulted in a revival of classical ideas in both building and the visual arts. Neoclassicism roots can be traced back to the German scholar John Andrew Hibbs of Hamann's outstanding archaeological discoveries as well as his disgust with the luxury of Baroque art. Artists and thinkers began to feel that a return to classical principle was necessary as the Baroque era supported extravagant artworks. Important writings by Wickelmann, Thoughts on the Imitation of Greek Works in Painting and Sculpture, which were published in 1750, were essential in forming neoclassicism's ideology and aesthetic. The movement was further inspired by Grand Tour, which brought European aristocracy to Italy's antique remains and introduced artists to wonders of history. As a result, neoclassicism emerged as an appreciation of the timeless beauty of classical art. Neoclassicism was extremely influential in the modes of art. The movement was a philosophical and intellectual reaction to the established political and cultural environment, not just the change in style. Artists felt that by establishing a feeling of morality and honesty in their audience, their works might improve society. The symmetry and simplicity of neoclassical architecture came to represent structure and order, and it had an effect on city planning, monuments, and public buildings. The movement's importance went beyond aesthetics, as the French Revolution demonstrated. It contributed to the intellectual conflict that resulted in social changes. Ultimately, neoclassicism served as a bridge between the ancient world and the modern age leaving an indelible mark on the trajectory of Western art and culture. In the end, neoclassicism created a connection between ancient and the modern era and greatly influenced the development of the Western art and culture. Neoclassicism, which first appeared in the 18th century, is a change from earlier art movements, which emphasizes idealized forms and simplicity while embracing the ideas of ancient Greece and Rome. Neoclassicism was born out of disgust with the Baroque style and the influence of John and Joachim Wichelmann's works in 1750. The movement gained pace more when European wealthy people were exposed to ancient ruins on the band tour. It evolved into a reaction to earlier eras and the celebration of classical values. Its influence on architecture represents logic and order, impacting public areas and playing a part in changes in culture like the French Revolution. Neoclassicism has a long-lasting influence on Western art and culture, acting as a connection between the ancient and modern eras.